This time at the unique Bowden Collection. V8 Hall of Famers Alan Moffat and Dick Johnson are our guides. And to show you all this famous hardware in action, we've dug through the seven network archives and dusted off some wonderful moments. That's all ahead today, right here on V8 Extra. Hi everybody and welcome once again to V8 Extra. We've got a very special show lined up for you today. As you know, our championship series is in recess at the moment. And we're on the eve of a very special time in the V8 Supercars Championship because Car of the Future is just around the corner. With all that in mind, we thought it was appropriate to stop and reflect, take a look at the heritage that has driven this business to the point where it is today. I'm standing in the middle of the Sunshine Coast in a private collection of cars owned by David Bowden. More than 80 of them in here. A priceless collection, beautiful cars, some of the most significant racing cars that have ever been on our tracks. And the man that's put it all together joins me now, David Bowden. It is a great pleasure to say welcome to V8 Extra. Oh, it's so good to have you here, Neil. Pleasure. Really looking forward to looking at some of these cars in yeah. detail. But, I mean, the obvious question for me is, how do you get started with something like this? Oh, it's so hard. I suppose I was a hot rodder when I was young. I used to build 32 Fords and 34s and all that. And then somewhere along the line, around 1973, when I was getting on a bit, um, <laughs> I bought the Phase 4 from Keith Goodall in Townsville. And as you know, there's only four of those mm. built, and that was the only full race one. And I got in a factory race car, and I realised how good it was. And I realised my old Phase 3 with a souped-up motor and everything was nowhere near as good as a factory race car. And that got me sort of after perfection, you know. Every single car in here is beautiful and together with your sons you've been able to spin a premium car care range out of all this out of this business that's right the boys have done that and i'm very proud of what they've done they've uh, we were producing our own car wash because uh, we couldn't buy one that we were happy with and uh next thing they started putting it together and then selling it there yeah. When I walked in here, I was overwhelmed. There's a show literally in every car in here, yeah. but do you have a favourite? Well, I do and I don't. I mean, it's the one I drove last is about my favourite. But, uh, of course, you know, things like the Super Falcon, I've had that since 1983, and Pete was a great mate of mine. The, the uh, Moffat Mustang, uh, Beaches Monaro, you can't walk away from that. True Blue sitting there right next to us, green stuff. And of course, Brocky, 78 and 79 Bathurst winners, you know. So many cars. David, yeah. thanks for letting us do this. And what we want to do is lift the lid on it if we can. Yeah. Thank you. It's a real pleasure. Thanks, Dan. So let's have a look at some of these cars in detail as we head off to the break. Check this one out. The 1981 Bathurst winner, the True Blue Falcon. Couple of touring car championships for that car. The 79 A9X driven by Peter Brock. This car won the race by six laps, broke the lap record in the closing stages. How about the 78 A9X? Incredible heritage, a Sandown winner, a Bathurst winner and a touring car championship. And am I revealing my age when I tell you that as a kid I stood on the fence at Calder and watched this car and thought it was beautiful. The first Holden to win the Australian Touring Car Championship, Storm and Norman Beachy's Shell Monaro. The Super Falcon from back in 72. This car was involved in one of the most extraordinary dices in the history of our sport. The late, great Pete Gagan battling with our mate Alan Moffat. And what about this? 42 years on, the Trans Am Coca-Cola Mustang. This is a beautiful race car. We're going to have a look at these cars in more detail today. Shortly, we'll catch up with both Alan Moffat and Dick Johnson. And as we go to the break, let's have a look at some of the beautiful cars in this collection. Changed. The casino now owns everyone except The Rock. This is my town. Inspired by a true story. Walking Tall, tonight on 7. Get up to $300 cash with a Honda EU generator. Get the Honda EU 10i and get $150 cash back. Get the Honda EU 20i and get $300 cash back. Get into your Honda dealer. Get the generator. Get the cash, but get in quick. 
Garden City Tire Plus. Top brand name tires, plus competitive prices, plus outstanding service, plus a free vehicle safety check by qualified mechanics. It simply adds up to a great result at Garden City Tire Plus. One, two, three, Vans. Wow, stop the clock. Cratsmans have turned back time to sell these bargains at rock bottom prices from their chosen range of caravans. You'll enjoy big savings on superseded and the new model Bowl, assorted track trailers, and heaps of gold stream plus lots of used vans. Just look for the big red ticket and you can take immediate delivery. So tick tock, stop the clock at Cratsman's two big locations. They'll rock your socks off. See why people come from all over Australia to buy from Cratsman Caravans at cratsman.com.au. The taste of Super Rooster, the best chicken around. I love the taste, I love the way the chicken melts in my mouth. Uniquely seasoned, rotisserie cooked. Super Rooster, the flavor's got me hooked. I love the taste of Super Rooster, the best chicken around. See the very latest camper trailers, caravans and motorhomes, fishing and camping gear, motoring accessories and holiday destinations. The Queensland Outdoor Adventure and Motoring Expo. Today and all weekend, Toowoomba Showgrounds. Wow, that's good. $335 for a Beaumont's kitchen floor tile package. One week only, though. And then throwing in a free kitchen sink. Floor tile packages, $335, one week only at Beaumont's. Plus a free sink. Seven's telecast of the 2011 V8 supercars made possible by Shannon's. Insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Coats Hire, the equipment hire experts. And Pedders, straight advice, specialists you understand, and no bull. Firmly entrenched as leader, Moffat is one in command. Moffat rounds Forrest Elbow and heads for Conrock Strait for the last time. He leads McPhee and goes on to win from his teammate. That was a magic moment back in 1970. Alan Moffat's first Bathurst victory, the Hardy Ferodo 500. 500 miles in those days, did it on his own. This is a very special V8 Extra. We're standing amongst the Bowden Collection today. It's my pleasure to welcome to the show two legends of our sport, genuine legends of our sport, Dick Johnson and Alan Moffat. Thanks for joining Thank us today. Pleasure. pleasure. Boys, look around. We're in the <laughs> ultimate toy shop. It's beautiful, isn't it? A bit like heaven, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's uh, unique in Australia and probably unique in the world for such an array of what represents Australian motorsport. What I love seeing here is two fierce competitors working together, being in the one spot in this wonderful museum, but your sons are now in the same race team at Jim Beam Racing. It's fantastic. It's a bit ironic, really, isn't it? And uh, one many years ago, uh, when uh, Alan was racing and I was racing, it was never going to be a point that uh, you'd ever imagine something like this had happened. Well, it's great to be able to do it on our show. I said as we came out of the break, Alan, a first, a special moment for you at Bathurst in 1970. On the subject of first, because I want to get into the hardware here now, the first car here, car 9, 1973, Australian Touring Car Championship winning Falcon. What a beautiful machine. Well, it was, and it was a surprise to everybody because uh, I wasn't able over the years to win a championship in the Mustang. And uh, in 73, when, when this came out and was run by Ford Motor Company, Howard Marsden was in charge. Uh, uh, we were able to uh, pick up a few ways, but Brocky was there all the time. One of the things I want to do today, and we always have nothing like enough time, is to lift the lid a little bit on each of the cars that we're going to focus on and tell a story. I know there's a million of them, but have you got a story relating to this car? Adelaide round of the championship. Um, I qualified well, so I was feeling comfortable. I did have a points lead at the time, or not so much a lead, but I was in front. And uh, phone rang 7 a.m., Sunday morning, which was unusual for me to be woken up at that time of the day. <laughs> uh, it was uh, Howard Marsden, the team manager. Alan, uh, I've got some bad news. Your car's been stolen overnight. My answer was, Howard, I'm G'd up enough. I know the points are tight. I don't need to be woken up with a pep talk. 
And in his English, he says, Alan, I'm serious. Your car was stolen last night from Stillwell Ford. And I said, oh, yeah, okay. Now that we're serious, what are we doing about it? He said, well, Murray Carter has very graciously said he'd loan me the car. And that kept me in the championship. Unbelievable stories. Alan, I'm going to let you play with this and reminisce for a moment so Dick and I can have a look at the true blue car. Because these cars, Dick, I mean, the thing blows me away. You and I spend our lives yep. hanging around V8 supercars. I poke my head inside this thing and I see something that completely bewilders me because, I mean, I've, there's there's a standard radio in here, there's carpet. I mean, it's just it's so well, different. They were the rules and, you know, some of the things that used to happen going back then, you'd pull up uh, in a pit stop at Bathurst and all of a sudden they'd be smouldering because the exhaust is underneath and the carpets are starting to smoulder and so they'd throw a bucket of water in. You know? <laughs> but, but, you know, the, the lack of roll cage, you know, aluminium roll cage probably is like an ashtray and a motorbike, does nothing. Uh. But uh, <laughs> when you see the cars today, they're a maze of tubes. Well, as I said to Alan a moment ago, every one of these vehicles has got a book in it. I mean, is there a little a quick yarn you can tell us about this one? Well, obviously this was the first championship winning car that I had, but... Uh, it was one of those cars where everyone thought it had a million horsepower, but at the end of the day, uh, when it went to scrutineering at Calder one day and I wasn't there, the boys took it up there and it, I used to take it up full of fuel. And it was then that they realised how quick the car was because it only weighed 1,270 kilos and, and uh, most of the other cars around were 1,700, 1,800 kilos. And that's when the, the war began with uh, losing weight in cars. Do you find that all these years later, when you look back in here, do you find that you reconnect with a car like this and still have a love for it? Well, look, I was fortunate enough, uh, the Gold Coast last year, to, to actually drive it around and, and fantastic car to drive it, and it really still feels very good today. Well, what I want to do is take us back to 1981 with Dick in this car, the True Blue Falcon. Let's enjoy Hardy's Heroes 1981, but before we go to the break, I want to play some special music. Cue Mr Moffat. Want to hear it again? <laughs> He's pushing as hard as he can go. Still aquaplaning a little bit over the top of the map. Most of the cars, Johnson, Still very, very smooth indeed. Do you think there aren't some fans up there on the top of the mountain giving them a big cheer on them? Four flags everywhere. Here he comes. 38, 81. Harry, where'd you get all that? With nine pieces of delicious original recipe chicken, nine nuggets and heaps of sides for only $24.95, KFC's classic dinner is unbelievably good value. Now that's so good. Whatever vehicle you drive, a Peta's 28-point steering and suspension check takes your peace of mind to the next level. It includes a comprehensive steering and suspension check, a visual brake pad and rotor inspection, shock absorber test, and no obligation report, all for just $14. Trust Petters to take your vehicle safety to the next level. No bull. Garden City Tire Plus. Top brand name tires. Plus competitive prices. Plus outstanding service. Plus a free vehicle safety check by qualified mechanics. It simply adds up to a great result at Garden City Tire Plus. Why should you see Westbrook Trailers for your next trailer or horse float? 30 years industry knowledge, evolving to meet our customers' needs. Large range, peace of mind warranty, central location and good old customer service. Six star qualities at Westbrook Trailers. For a real meal that'll satisfy your hunger, get KFC's three-piece feed. Three pieces of original recipe, chips, potato and gravy, dinner roll and drink for only $8.95. Great taste that doesn't cost you more is so good. This man is as tough as nails and twice as quick.
Oh, sensational time off the top of the mountain. On to Conrod straight and with a good shot, perhaps of taking pole position. Sideways out of the turn and across to take 2.14.708. Mount Panorama has erupted. Lambs will seat covers. You will not see too many of those at our next V8 supercar event, which is coming up at Queensland Raceway. This is the Green's Tough Falcon. You just saw some wonderful imagery of that car from Hardy's Heroes back in 1984. Dick Johnson joins us again. Dick, this is a pretty significant vehicle in your history. Picked up a touring car championship in this little number. It certainly did, and ironically, a lot of the mechanical parts in this vehicle here are the ones from the previous year when it went through the trees at Bathurst. See, I had no idea that that was the case. I didn't realise that you'd actually fed bits into the 84 car that were involved in the shunt the year before. We certainly did, and ironically, you know, when you're having a bad weekend, you wouldn't think things could get worse, but on, on the way home between Bathurst and Orange... The boys had the, the old car and the trailer and it actually rolled on the way back home. So the weekend just couldn't get any worse. So this is the, the 83 car that we saw firing through the weeds off Forest Elbow and that horrible catastrophe. You're telling me that on the way home it was involved in another shunt. It had another accident. <laughs> so you've know, you, you got to say that uh, it was an unlucky car in one way or another. Was this a nice old girl to drive? It was a great car to drive and certainly when they allowed us to put bigger brakes on them and, and those big 19-inch wheels on the back... They're a fantastic car and uh, I think it's one of the people's favourites. I can remember you having some monumental battles in this car, in particular with Brock. Well, to win a championship, it's about being consistent and the car was very, very reliable. It uh, finished every single race of the championship and we're on the podium at every race. But we only ever won one race, but still won the championship. These are great memories. They're certainly great vehicles. And what I want to do is just remind everybody about the fact that this is not a publicly open museum. However, if you have a look at the details on screen with the website there for Bowden's Own, from time to time, there's some open days where you can sneak in and have a look at some of this hardware because it's great stuff. Talking about great stuff, what about this vehicle here? Alan Moffat, the 1977 Moffat Ford Dealers XC Falcons. If ever there were iconic cars in the history of Australian motorsport, then it's these. This is it, and this is Colin's car, and uh, I can say it was an absolute delight to be able to have Colin join my team uh, and to run the two cars uh, throughout the championship was, was really something. But uh, they weren't without their flaws, and uh, uh, stopping was one of them. That was the thing. I mean, you guys know because you've seen this go through four decades of transition really, but today we can go to Bathurst as an example and on lap 161 you can use the brake pedal as hard as you did on lap one. That was not the case back in 1977 or earlier. Well we could do it the other way around. We had brakes for one lap and then we had 160 <laughs> laps where we used the parachute. <laughs> it was quite a nerve-wracking exercise and uh, we always tried not to have to change the brake pads. We had thick brake pads but the stopping power wasn't there and it was uh, the, the people that had to nurse the car made it do it. But, but Colin was a superb backup to us throughout the season and uh, the, the number of one-twos we had was quite amazing. I think it's also misunderstood how quick these cars were. I mean, I was up there that day that you picked up the win in 77, and down Conrod Strait, these cars were fast. Well, we would have been doing over 180 miles, miles an hour. hour. Yeah. And uh, stopping was an optional extra. You had, if, if you <laughs> jumped on the brakes and you burnt them up, you were never going to finish. And somehow or other, we managed to get by. But... Uh, the, the, the one-two finish is certainly the highlight of my career. Bear in mind that uh, that was when Bathurst Strait went was straight. all the way down. Straight. That's, <laughs> right. Exactly. That's right. There's no kink in it in those and days. And from memory, Alan, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the car that you drove, when it was pushed out onto the grid for the start of the event, the brake pedal was on the floor. But miraculously, <laughs> it was obviously your day where the brake pedal came back just that before was, the start of the race. Um, you, you've never seen anybody talk about a duck paddling. I was pumping that brake pedal as, as the checkered flag was coming down, as the starting flag was coming down. I never knew whether I was going to make it through the next corner. Miraculously, it came back up again. Fantastic just stories. Terrible. This is a beautiful motor car. This is the car that Colin Bond drove to position two in that race. In fact, what I want to do now is go to the brake and recall some of the extraordinary images of the 1977 Bathurst 1000, some rare vision of these cars.
jobs, unwanted and unloved. Forced her out, haven't you? Forced out of their own homes by their own sons. I needed somewhere to live. I just want to cry. Is this any way to treat your mum? Plus, secret women's business. The extreme cleavage bra. Sexy and supportive. Two cup sizes bigger in an instant. Who needs surgery? On sevens today, tonight. Get it into your head. Has national buying power with local service at a fair dinkum price. So get it in your head. See one of our display sites nationwide today. Call 1 800 10 11 12. Whatever your vehicle carries or tows, Pedders will take it to the next level with a customised load carrying solution designed for the task at hand. Combine heavy duty suspension, shocks, springs, airbags, and bushes with a specialised brake upgrade and towing components. Trust Pedders to take your vehicle to the next level. No ball. I love the taste of Super Rooster The best chicken around I love the taste I love the way The chicken melts in my mouth Uniquely seasoned rotisserie cooked Touching down in your lounge room. Countdown to the world's most extreme airports. Monday, 7.30 on 7. The top of Motorcraft Hill, the Marmot Tube Mills, Motorcraft, Mustang V8, Nick Johnson at the wheel, and now it's tumble down deck. And the car is handling like a dream. Johnson leading, Jim Richardson series leader in second place. Welcome back to V8 Extra. We're on our last lap. We've changed location now. We're at Bowden's Collection on the Sunshine Coast and surrounded by some of the most extraordinary race cars in this land. Kevin Bartlett's number nine Chevy Camaro, the Lotus Cortina of 1964, Alan Moffat's car, his first professional racing car. Jimmy Richards, BMW 635, the JPS car. This car behind me, the 1987 Bathurst winning car of Peter Brox. It's time now to talk about some very special American muscle. I'm surrounded by beautiful Mustangs. We've got the Green's tough car here that Dick Johnson drove in 1985 and Alan Moffat's Coca-Cola Mustang boys. These are super special cars for me. Now, I said at the top of the program that we're on the verge of a chapter change in our business, and that's what this car represented, because in 1985, it was the beginning of Group A. It certainly was, and we went from the green stuff Falcon and had to sort of get something in the Ford range that was going to suit us. And to me, the only thing that I could use was the, the Mustangs. These, this, I bought two of these from uh, Zach Speed in, in Germany. Uh, this one had never been raced when we got it and the other one had done a couple of touring car rounds over there. So um, it's a pretty significant part of, uh, of the history. Beautiful little car, and I wanted to find an excuse to line it up not terribly far away from the black car because there's that wonderful exchange that I remember at Bathurst going up Mountain Straight where you're in this car with a race cam, Jimmy's in the BMW and there's the exchange of waves and what have you. It was pretty significant. It certainly was. It just showed you the, the difference in speed between the two cars and virtually uh, how slow they were, were by comparison uh, at Bathurst because uh, we had time to say you know, g'day to one another but uh, <laughs> these days they don't do that do they? They certainly don't. Time now for Big Pond email and Max Cutler from Airlie Beach asks both you gentlemen do you have a favourite car in the Bowden collection? Well look 
quite frankly, anyone who asks me what my favourite car was, I always tell them it's the one that won a race. <laughs> but uh, realistically, I think the one that's significant for me is the one that uh, we won the first touring car championship and our first Bathurst in the 1981 True Blue. Show. She's a beautiful old bit of kit. Alan, for you? Well, picking up on Dick's team, uh, the one that won the most races for me, uh, I'm very fond of this little beauty. One of seven made in 1969. Your strike ratio of success in this car is extraordinary. 151 starts, 101 race wins. That's not a bad innings. It, it earned its keep over six years, did a lot of miles in it, but it was a joy to, a, a joy to drive. and. Uh, was very popular with the fans. I said at the top of the show, 42 years on, and it's still just as significant, just as beautiful today as it was when it first rolled out in the racetrack. Hey, I want to do something because we've not done this so far in the program, and that is to have a look beneath the bonnet, which is where it's all at with these cars. So let's sneak around and have a peek at this thing because it is and this is a phrase of mine, it's engineering art. It is beautiful under here. Well, this is exactly as the way it was produced. Uh, a famous Boss 302, which is five litres in our uh, language, uh, equipped with the Weber downdraft carburetors, essentially a carburetor for every cylinder, and it get, had a total of 485 horsepower in 1969. And believe it or not, that that engine is the basic same engine as what we use in the Ford V8 yeah, supercar today. Isn't that fantastic? It's extraordinary, isn't it? Hey, quickly before we go, I didn't put a full stop on the story about the 73 number nine car when it got pinched. Obviously it was a happy ending. After uh, the police found it in the Adelaide Hills, <laughs> we got it back. <laughs> so looking ahead now to our next V8 supercar event that's coming up at Queensland Raceway, August 19, 20 and 21, the Ipswich 300. Our next V8 Extra, well, we're off to Jim Beam Racing, going to catch up with Dick once again. Looking forward to that, a workshop show with an audience, lots of fun. Gentlemen, it's been a great pleasure to spend time with you today. Thanks for coming and hanging out with us. Our pleasure. Great to see some of the old history, mate. It is. They're great cars. And thanks also to the Bowden family who've done a wonderful job of hosting us today. Hope you've enjoyed the program. Look forward to your company again next week. Bye for now. Seven's telecast of the 2011 V8 supercars made possible by Coates Hire, the equipment hire experts. Harvey Norman, for your nearest store, call 1300 Go Harvey. And Super Cheap Auto, everything auto and much, much more. Tonight, Amy Adams is a storybook princess lost in the real world in Disney's magical adventure, Enchanted. Then, The Rock is back to clean up his town in the action-packed Walking Tall. And on two at 6.30, Born and Bred, then Heartbeat, and at 8.40, the cryptic clue-solving Inspector Morse. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We're so glad you could attend. Come inside, come inside. There behind the glass. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Should we start? <laughs> oh, I see how this game is done. Now my turn. <laughs> ready? Yeah. Too slow. No. Fess, that's not how the game works. You're supposed to hit my hands. Too slow. Who wants cookies? Oh, oh. Yeah. 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 Thank you. They're Kara, nature's chocolate. I think I'm you know. Oh, oh, oh come on. You wouldn't have known if I hadn't told you. Oh, Eric, I picked out a really snazzy outfit for you to wear on career day. Oh, that's... um, goody. Well, fine, Mr. Grumpy, but I can't wait to show off my little man at work. You know what? Me neither. Oh. My career day, man, it's so late. 
That's just because your mom's the lunch lady. Your mom is gross, Edna, ew. I mean, cool. You bet it's cool. That's why I'm spending the day with hiding his mom, right? Eric, I need you in the garage. Okay, look, I'll be right back. You can explain exactly what you did to this car. Okay, look, I'll see you tomorrow. Hold the light steady. Higher. Higher. <laughs> Not in my eyes. Do I look like the carburetor? Not, um, not in this light. That's one. Sorry. Geez, Eric, you're in high school. You'd think they'd take five minutes out of teaching macrame and show you how to hold a damn flashlight. Dad, isn't that what college is for? That's two. Oh. You want to go for three? Give me that. Ah, oh, see, the damn thing is shot. I need a rebuild kit. Ah, we'll work on this tomorrow. Uh, Dad, tomorrow's career day. Yeah, well, I'm working half days. I'll be home by noon. Um, I think I'm gonna go to the hospital with Mom. Yeah, what for? Well, it's career day, not career half day. <laughs> okay, look, that's not three. That's what my teacher said. I <laughs> Fine, Eric. I'll, uh, fix the car, and you go with your mom, and... See if you want to be a nurse. <laughs> Enchanted tonight. Harry, where'd you get all that? With nine pieces of delicious original recipe chicken, nine nuggets, and heaps of sides for only $24.95, KFC's classic dinner is unbelievably good value. Now that's so good. So why do I do it? Because of this. It's so unnecessary. Still, no one's happy. All it took was a little care. Join the fight with Super Cheap Auto. Why should you see Westbrook Trailers for your next trailer or horse float? 30 years industry knowledge, evolving to meet our customers' needs. Large range, peace of mind warranty, central location, and good old customer service. Six star qualities at Westbrook Trailers. The Kabbalah Markets is the place to meet, eat, and browse through over 100 market stores. Just head 15 kilometres north on the New England Highway. The Kabbalah Markets, our Sunday of the month and the second Sunday in December. Garden City Tire Plus. Top brand name tires. Plus competitive prices. Plus outstanding service. Plus a free vehicle safety check by qualified mechanics. It simply adds up to a great result at Garden City Tire Plus. If I could count on you Imagine the things we could do If only you could count on everything the way you can count on Sunday. Sunday. Designed to help when it counts. For a real meal that'll satisfy your hunger, get KFC's three-piece feed. Three pieces of original recipe, chips, potato and gravy, dinner roll and drink for only $8.95. Great taste that doesn't cost you more is so good. Ipswich 300, it's going to be mega. We've had a one race format, a two, now we've got a three with a back-to-back -back race. It's 15 minutes between each race. You have to finish race one, get your car in, service it, fuel tyres, set up changes, back in there, and we're away again for race two. We're going to have to be right on our game to finish on the podium in either one of those two races. Team, it's all